Hi, I'm Javier, one of the co-creators of Imaginary Teleprompter, and I would like to show you something special. For the past few months, we've internalized your feedback and reached the determination that in order to best serve our teleprompter software users, the best thing we could do is write a new program from scratch that addresses all of the technical limitations with imaginary teleprompter. Over here is what we've come up with. I present to you Imaginary Teleprompter for Terminals. In beige color. If you have access to the internet like 59.5% of the population do, you can open a telnet session using PuTTY or your favorite terminal emulator. This ensures that teleprompter for terminals is able to run on every single operating system on earth, including Windows 95. Many users have complained with the fact that Electron applications such as imaginary teleprompter consume a lot of RAM which is why Teleprompter for Terminals requires no more than 16 kilobytes of RAM. You can download Teleprompter for Terminals and find full instructions on how to set it up at github.com slash cuperino with a capital C slash teleprompter dash for dash terminals. Teleprompter for Terminals is licensed under the general public license, the same license as Imaginary Teleprompter. And I forgot to mention this, but... We've also added support for NVIDIA's Jetson Nano! Thank you everyone for using Imaginary Teleprompter. New software and a new update are on the way for 2021.